Tonight, only on News Watch 12, we're looking into the viability of the Rogue Valley Mall. We're heading into the busiest shopping month of the year. More people are turning to online shopping. And the mall's owners are now faced with the challenge of figuring out how to keep the 32 year old shopping center a major attraction. News Watch 12's Leah Thompson shows us what that mall's doing to get you in store and if shoppers think it's working. I used to come here all day, every day. But that was before online shopping took off. And now. <laughs> that change is why the Rogue Valley Mall is bringing in more experiential activities in place of traditional stores, things like the escape rooms and laser tag. Today, Joshua Warren came to the mall specifically looking for things that are new here. We also brought this conversation to Facebook. We asked our followers what they think the future of the mall is. Some of the top responses were, we went to the mall a lot this summer just to walk because of the smoke. We were grateful for a big indoor area. Indoor malls are a thing of the past. Relevant stores in the Valley's income bracket like Zara, H&M, and Forever 21 will draw more shoppers. Someone said, I love the mall. My wish is for the mall to have a roller skating rink. In fact, more than 140 of you posted a comment. A Warren says the malls are just not the same because kids don't hang out at them like they used to. Too much. If I do, they're mostly with, like their parents. I called mall management and asked for an interview. They could not commit to an interview by the time this story aired. Medford Leah Thompson, Newswatch 12. And it's not just the stores working to make the mall the center of Southern Oregon shopping. The mall's ownership's also hosting a lot of events, hoping to draw in crowds. Santa is there now, meeting with kids. There will actually be a Santa PJ party the morning of December 8th. And every Tuesday before Christmas, starting tomorrow, take your pet in to the mall, meet with Santa, get their needs and their wants met. <laughs> and this Friday, of course, is Black Friday. The store is going to open at 6 a.m. with some really neat prizes, including a cash tube you can get into.